G'day and welcome back to the channel today. Today I'm going to fly this. This is the Mobulus 6. It's a 2.4 gigahertz bind and fly micro whoop with a free sky compatible receiver. I'm going to fly this with this, the Tango 2 from TBS. But this is 2.4 gigs, that's 915 megahertz. How am I going to do that? And what's it going to look like? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. And you'll find out how you can do it too, because I know a lot of you got these little tiny whoops on 2.4 and you'd love to use the Tango for good reason. It's really nice. So stay tuned, watch this video, you'll find out how I did it. G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Got something interesting here for you, I hope. I'm sure you'll all be interested now. Uh, TBS sent me this Tango 2 uh, transmitter to test out, to review, and I immediately discovered, oh gosh, I don't have any um, Crossfire equipped craft here. I have I have got some Crossfire gear, but I hadn't installed it in anything. So mm, what can I test it and how can I get a feel for this transmitter if I don't have a quad? Now I am building a quad. I'm building this quad, which is the Speedy B, and I've already got um, the air for the tires and other bits and pieces. So, but that's going to take a while. So I think, yeah, maybe I'll just work on another project. And this is a project you may also find useful, interesting, and desirable. So let me know what you think in the comments. Now, I have the Mobula Six. Here it is, Mobula Six. It is a uh, micro FPV whoop whoop whatever. And this one is a Free Sky. See, it says on the box, Free Sky bind and fly. So. It comes with a little board which has a built-in receiver and flight controller and that sort of stuff you see. So, But the problem of course is that this is Crossfire. This is 900 megahertz and this is 2.4 gigahertz. So, hmm, bit of an issue. And as you can see, this has not been modified in any way. This is a stock standard tiny, well, what is it, Mobula 6. Absolutely, there's no, in fact, it's still got the original antenna on here somewhere. There's one antenna there. I think that might be the RC and, or this is, the, I don't know, one of them is 5.8 for the video and one's for the 2.4 receiver. So this is on 2.4 gigahertz, okay? Let's get that quite straight. And here's the crossfire on 900 megahertz. Now, hmm, if I hold it really close, do you think it'll work? Do you think it'll be so much power from the crossfire that it will work? Thing? Well, let's, let's try arming it and see what happens. Woo, did you see that? I just move it a bit further away. Ooh, that's pretty schmick. Look at this. How's that work? Hmm. Okay, let's just see if the yaw works. Ooh, how about roll? Yeah, pitch. Ooh. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to move the camera back a bit and I'm going to try and fly this little micro whoop with the Crossfire transmitter. Let's see how that goes. Okay, now I probably won't be able to get my hands in shot. I don't know, I can't see, I'll turn the, turn the little thing around. Can we see the, here we can see the transmitter, hopefully. We can see the transmitter, I'll try and hold it up here. And you can see that my inputs, I am actually flying this thing, okay? Let's, I'm probably crashing it because I'm not very good at flying line of sight in here, so. Here we go, I'm just hovering it. Whoa, there we go. Um, as you can see, your, woo, throttle's a bit sensitive, but hey, I'm, how can I fly this 2.4 gig Mobula 6 from the Crossfire Tango? And I must say the transmitter feels very nice in my hands. This is, yeah, I like it. I'm liking this transmitter. This battery's flat, I'm sorry. Let's disarm. I need to charge a new battery, but you saw it here, folks. <laughs> you saw it here. What kind of evil magic is this? I should also point out, of course, that this is a stock stand. I haven't opened this. This is just, there's no um, stuff in here, no extra stuff. This is absolutely stock standard Tango transmitter, unmodified in any way. And this is an absolutely stock standard um, Mobula 6, unmodified in any way. So how did I make this magic happen? And how can you make this magic happen? Well, I'll give you a glimpse. Then if you're interested, please mention in the comments and I'll show you how to do it. I'll do a DIY on it. Or maybe as I mentioned in a previous video, Maybe someone else will decide, decide to say, hey, we'll make these because everybody wants it. For those of you who hadn't guessed, and I'm picking that quite a few of you will have guessed, this is how I did it. What we've got here is a little bit of macrame, a little bit of basket weaving, but there are a few key components here. Here's a Crossfire Nano receiver. There you go. And the output from the, this is switched into PPM mode. So it's sending a serial pulse train out. And that goes into this FreeSky DIY module that I've had laying around for ages and ages and ages. This is just the DIY. I've got it switched to D8 mode, telemetry mode. 
through this little has this little switch here. So what happens here is the crossfire transmitter is broadcasting to the nano receiver. The nano receiver is then turning that into a pulse train, which goes down here into the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, which then transmits it out to the little modular six or any other any other tiny whoop micro whoop or in fact any other model that has a free sky d8 compatible receiver in it okay um so <laughs> this is what you would call a, a repeater this is a what is it yeah, it's a repeater and it also does a conversion it converts from 915 megs down to up to 2.4 and it just sends the pulses through so what we've done is we put a man in the middle we've got this unit sitting in between our transmitter and our craft. That's all I've done. So as I said, this is not modified in any way. This is not modified in any way. We've just used a bit of external smart. So it's quite, I know a lot of people have got plenty of little craft like this and they would love to fly these craft with crossfire. Well, hey, <laughs> this is one way to do it. And I think these will used to be like about 20 bucks and you know, you got your cross of your nano or if you might have any old crossfire receiver you got laying around, you could use that. And instantly all those little whoops that have got the FreeSky compatible D8 receivers you can use with your Tango too. And I'm, I'm loving this little transmitter. Actually, I'm, I'm finding it, I'm warming to it quite a bit. It's, it's really nice. Um, it's initially I was concerned, oh, it doesn't have any damn trims, but it, it, you can change the trims with a little wheelie lever here. You can actually trim stuff. So the lack of trim levers isn't an issue. And it fits nicely in my hand. It's nice and light. But the best thing of all is I can throw this in my backpack. And although this isn't the pro model, so I end up breaking the spring, the sticks eventually, I guess. Um, you know, it's it's so much easier than throwing a Tyrannus or a QX7 or even a Jumper 16 in my backpack. Oh, I just love that. Now, having said that, I got some stuff from Jumper today, which I'll show you in a future video, which looks like they're trying to slim down the transmitter a bit. But hey, there you go. Now, if you've got one of these old DIY kits, you could use that. Or if you've got an old FreeSky transmitter module, you know, back in the old days, we all had the, the transmitter modules. I think, I don't think I've got one laying around here. That's the, the, JL or the JR or the Futaba compatible transmitter modules. You could use that instead of this DIY kit. If you've got a, a telemetry capable mo uh, module, you could use that wired in. But what I'm thinking here is, to make this most useful, uh, instead of using one of these, use one of the multi-protocol modules a multi-protocol board so you could then use your tango and your crossfire connection to connect up to anything you know that that the multi-protocol transmitter module will handle so yeah just take the ppm out into the multi-protocol module and then you can bind up to just about anything and fly it with your tango brilliant eh so mm, i know i don't think we will see a lot of little quads like this um, coming out of china with crossfire support why well because i doubt that uh, Team Black Sheep really want to release the inner workings of the Crossfire Protocol to a Chinese because I think there could be a little bit of copying, cloning, a little bit of unauthorized reproduction going on if they did. So I think they will keep it close to their chest. Now I know they do have their own little tiny whoop, a Meteor 65 or something I think, I can't remember, but um, Stingy was talking about it the other night on his live stream. So yeah, they, they, you can buy a Crossfire equipped machine, but if you've already got ones and you want got them and you want to fly them with 2.4, Bingo, there you go, you know, probably 30, 40 bucks worth of gear. Oh, I don't know what the nanos are worth. In New Zealand, these are about $4,527.65. I think I paid for that one. Everything's expensive in New Zealand. But um, yeah, for a handful of pocket change, all these now become able to be driven from your crossfire transmitter. Yes, so there you go. More reasons to rush out and buy a Tango too, I suppose, because now you can whoop with it with your favorite little thing. Anyway, a full review of the Tango coming up. I just wanted a machine that I could, now I've learned a bit setting this up and you know, going through the process. So yeah, I'll give you the full review on this coming up very soon. But if you would like me to do a step-by-step, -step, walk you through, hold you by the hand, uh, basically, you know, grew, comb your hair and all that sort of stuff, uh, show you how to do it, I will get hold of a multi-protocol module and I'll do a little DIY for this, show you just which wires are solder where and away you go. And as long as you've got even basic soldering skills, this will be a walk in the park. Or as I say, someone is bound to come out and say, whoa, we can make money out of that. Let's build it. And it'll be, be on Banggood or whatever. Maybe it'll be, ah, it won't be on Banggood, I don't suppose, because they won't, they don't sell crossfire receivers. But maybe they'll provide one that you just plug a crossfire into. Or maybe Team Black Sheep will say, hey, this would be good. We'll sell more Tango 2 transmitters if we provide a box like this. And they'll make one. And then you won't have to bother building it yourself. But there you go. That's it. Enough ranting for today on RC Model Reviews. I thought this must be quite useful and fun. And now I'm going to go and do some flying. Okay, um, this could end badly. It's about to pee down with rain. So I'm gonna have to work very quickly here, but I wanna have a fly. This is not a fresh battery. Let's turn all this gear on. Not a fresh battery, so we won't get much flight time. So I'm plugging in the reload unit. 
Turning on the Tango 2. Welcome to Tango 2. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Oops. Okay. Um, I'm going to set these goggles up to record. Because my Skyzos have stopped recording. Sadly, they are broken. And I love them. They're wonderful. I just wish they weren't broken. But they still work, but I just don't record, so... Right, let's put this out here. Come on. Wires out of the way. That looks alright. Um, so I put my sky zones on. Trust me, there's a lot of work involved here before the rain gets here. It's very close. Um, in my pocket. You should have a picture. We do, so... Go to record. Okay, so you get to see the, the FPV footage that doesn't fall off there. These goggles going, let's get those going. Okay, um, I've got this. Okay, I'm here at the main camera. I want to I want you to be able to see my hands as I fly. This is going to be a bit tricky, a bit dodgy, but we'll see what happens. So let's go to air mode, let's go armed, whoops, throttle down, here we go, arm switch. We're armed, let's fly, woo! So as you can see, we don't have a lot of voltage, but we are flying, bit of jello on this at the moment. Woohoo, yes! We should have some, yeah, it does flip, oh yeah, perfect. I can, I can detect no latency with this at the moment. So this is flying very nicely. For an old guy, oh, better make sure I've got this camera in shot so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully I can't see because I've got my goggles on so it may not be in shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a good time. Hopefully I've got most of this in shot, but I don't know may end up being a complete, or oh, down to 3.1, I better land because that's really the low point for these. Let's see if I can land in the back of the truck without landing on all that wiring. No, I don't want to land in the grass, I'll land out here because there's all sorts of iron in the grass, fine filings and things. I ended up getting one of the motors stuffed on the mobula before so I'll just, whoops. Nearly out of battery. Three volts, it's landed here. There we go. This arm. There you go. So that was it. That was it. I shall now go and get the... I hope, I'm hoping that was in shot, but I don't know. Let's go and get the quad. God, it's too small, I can't find it. Here we go. And here comes the rain. Just in time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.